Hello, so here we are today painting up this gas mask and sort of turning it into a kind of steampunk looking gas mask. So this is part one in this particular video series and we'll just be doing the paint job in this video. And in part two we'll be installing some LED lights just to jazz it up a little bit. So this mask, this particular mask I bought from eBay and it cost uh, around about six pounds for the mask so that's perhaps ten dollars in American dollars so you should be able to pick one up relatively cheaply so all I'm doing there is taking off the filters um, taping things up so that when we get around to what we're going to do is use uh, spray paint the initial coats and I'm going to prime the mask first of all with some grey pipe primer so I'm just taping everything up there just on the inside so they get inside the breathing parts of the mask and I put some cotton wool, in, not cotton wool, uh, toilet paper in the holes where the filter filters, holes where the filters are, the holes in the filters and the holes where the filter is attached to the mask so we're just preparing the mask here for priming. So there you can see I'm putting in the uh, toilet paper there just to fill the holes in. In this particular mask, the filters were... There were some little 3 volt fans inside, so I took those out. So there we are, I'm taking them out there, as you can see. And so we don't need them in this particular project because the mask is only for obviously for decorative purposes. But those little fans, they might come in handy for another project at a later date. So this particular mask I'm making up here will be featured in a music video that I'm making sometime down the line. I've also got a music channel, Moonrunner Music, which features music from, from Angel Rust, plus collaboration, music collaboration uh, stuff, and guitar riffs and techniques and all kinds of things. So spraying up there, I just showed you the uh, multi-piece mother mold for a dragon, so there's a lot going on at the moment, so between jobs. So there you are, you can see... I primed up the mask and then sprayed the mask with the gold metallic paint as you can see there. So a couple of coats of primer, let that dry overnight and then a couple of coats of the gold metallic paint and let that dry overnight also. And now we're ready to add some paint effects. So I've mixed up some black and brown. So you've got a kind of dark brown there, that's acrylic paint and we're just going to liberally paint that over the mask and then we'll wipe down with a damp cloth so it leaves the dark paint in the recesses and kind of gives it a dirty look so once we've done that we'll leave that I left this overnight to make sure that the paint had fully dried and cured and then applied another layer using the same process. I'm kind of dabbing, on, dabbing the cloth on the mask also to kind of give it a kind of natural looking effect if that makes any sense. So we'll also do the filters too. So paint on and wipe off. So we've left that overnight and we'll do the same process again. If you build up layers it kind of looks more natural and authentic.
So that's where we're at. And another layer. I think it was just three layers I put on this mask. So there's 24 hours between each coat or layer. And there we are. So I got hold of some, what would you call it, sort of uh, translucent, transparent, stick-on plastic stuff. And this is going to go on the lenses so you can't see the eyes. But what I plan to do is put some lights inside the eyes or inside the mask to kind of illuminate behind the lenses so we'll see what that looks like. So they're just sticking on that gold shiny film. It says to use soapy water when applying this film, but I don't think I needed to use it. Use the soapy water on such a small part. I ended up trapping some bubbles in the film. I was going to redo it, but I thought the bubbles kind of looked like dents, so I left the bubbles in there. There's only a few. I, th I thought thought it was quite a good effect, which sort of complements the main mask paint job. But of course, if you want a clean look, then uh, you want to go careful putting the film onto the lens and make sure you push all those bubbles out. So there we are. That's the film stuck onto the lenses. And that kind of gives you an idea of what it's going to look like. So now we're going to lacquer the mask. So I'm using matte lacquer there. So that's all lacquered up. We left that to dry overnight for 24 hours. And now we're going to assemble the mask. So I stuffed in the toilet paper there. So just pushing, uh, pulling that back out again. So just firing around with an LED light there just to give you an idea perhaps where we can install the lights. I might use some diffusers as well on the lights to kind of spread the light. And now we're going to fix the lens, the lenses into the mask. So I'm just cutting out the holes there where the lens fits onto some knobs inside the mask. So just push those back into place. And there we are. I think that looks quite groovy. I'm just farting around with those LED lights there to give an idea perhaps where I'm going to mount the LED lights. I'll probably use UV lights. UV LED lights when I get around to installing the lights on this mask. So there we are. And I'll just attach the harness to the mask and we'll try it on to see what it feels like and looks like. So there we are, a relatively straightforward, simple job. And like I say in part two, we will install the LED lights. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and over and out for now. Thank you.